Today I'm building a yard cart trailer. Um, but something low speed, something you would just push around the yard. I want something large size. I want it to have four wheels so I can push around by hand. Um, kind of as a, uh, a dolly or a trolley. Or I can hook it to a riding mower or a little tractor or something to that effect. I already have these caster wheels. These pneumatic caster wheels that I picked up years ago and I haven't found a project for them but now I have so these are going to be on one side um, these two will be on one side of the trailer and then you'll just have a fixed axle and fixed wheels on the other so just a matter of making a frame and attaching wheels let's go through it I'm using a bunch of pipe because that's just what I have laying around and this is just kind of a random project so uh, the hardest part about doing pipe is you don't have to notch it but uh, I notched it so go watch the video on uh, how to notch if you're curious how to notch pipe um, I'll put a link below in the description but you can just butt weld it, butt it and weld it it's just prettier to notch it but most of the time I just button weld Figured I'd show you guys how to notch it, how I notch it. So now I just got a cross member that I notched. So I'll just weld that in to brace everything up, keep it square. And then these casters, I could just I could just weld it right on, no problem. But what I'll do is I'll actually weld the bolt to the pipe, and then I'll be able to just bolt the casters on and off. So this is the makes of my rear axle. So this is the axle tube, and then you'll have the wheel on each side. And these have a, these came standard with a 5 8 bore. So I found a, a grade 5 bolt that fits in there beautifully. It's a little long, but the issue is, so this actually fits in there. Just the head of the bolt fits very, very near perfect in that bore. So... Problem is, I got a lot of slop. I don't have a sleeve. If I had a, a a perfect sleeve that went around here and then fit in that bore, I could get this square. So what I did is I just took one of the nuts and I just drilled out all the threads. And so now I have a sleeve that I can locate in there. That's nice and tight. And that gives me no play. And I can weld that up right there. I can slide on my axle. Now I just got to finish welding all the way around. That angle right there was pretty tricky. I just kind of had to eyeball it and hand grind it, but I got it really close. Close enough to weld, so just weld all the way around all these things and it'll be solid. Just welded two pieces of pipe and jammed a skinnier pipe through it and made a hitch. So now it can be pulled around or pushed or pulled by hand, you know, but that, that's what hooks to the front of a, or to the back of a riding mower. This whole project I'm just doing with scrap whatever I have left over and ideally I wanted three main center beams but I only had two long ones in the scrap pile and a bunch of short ones so that's what I did. But I just barely found a third one so I had a bunch of other stuff welded on it some expanded metal so I ground that all off but now I have one to put one in the middle but I don't want to notch each side and weld it to this I actually want to notch this and slide this through without cutting everything off so if you haven't seen me use this in the other video my tubing notcher that I did all this with I can use this as super portable so I can just put this wherever I want I can just clamp this on and then I'll just drill the hole to fit this pipe, notch both sides at once.
There, we just put this, not expanded metal, but this uh, wire mesh that's usually on uh, pallet racking, like you'd see at Costco or something else like that. This is what they lay over there. It was two sheets, and I just cut it, trimmed it, and welded it together, just tacked it in place just to hold it. But it's all together, lick of paint on it. So now we just take this, and we're going to hook it to the back of the uh, riding lower. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for the next video, see what I use it for.